Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will see when we really require to use CDS table function. What all are the scenarios are there? At last, I will give one example where I will try to fix that particular issue using the CDS entity. Later point of time, when I was, I will be not able to fix that particular problem, then I will use CDS table function and I will show you when exactly we need the CDS table function. Let's get started. In my previous videos, we have discussed about the basics about CDS table function, how to create the CDS table function, what all are the artifacts we need to create during the CDS table function. One is CDS entity, second is AMDP function for our CDS table function. And for that, we have to create, create the AMDP class and AMDP method, sorry, AMDP function and how the client handling will happen when we create the CDS table function. So those all the things we have discussed in my three previous videos. In this video, we'll try to understand when we really need the CDS table function because our CDS, basic CDS entities or CD, DDIC based CDS views are that much powerful. We can achieve most of the things out of that. But some of the times we, we, there is the, some limitation of the CDS uh, views also, CDS entities also. So what all are the, those limitations we will see and for the overcoming those limitations, how we can use the CDS tables function. So there are mainly four things as per my experience or I have discussed with my colleagues as well with I came to conclusion these are the almost these are the maximum scenarios where we really need the CDS table function there might be others also I'm not sure but as per my experience and discussion with my colleagues I got to know these four things the first thing when we have to access the data from the other schema or we can tell the cross schema so first we have to understand what is a schema so a schema is the uh, in the our database the data is stored in the structured form in the schemas like if you know about ABAP package how we how we assign the different different package for the different different scheme in ABAP we have different uh, sometime other it depends upon again different companies we have different packages for the pp different different packages for fi mm and then we we will further divide those packages like that in the database also we are having the we are having the schemas so whenever we create any database architect artifact using the our application server like CDSU entities or DDIC based CDSUs or AMDP functions, AMDP methods, whatever we create these artifacts, this will be stored one specific schema which is assigned to that particular ABAP server. So as you already aware, we have three different uh, uh, layer in our architecture. One is the database layer, then application layer and a third is the interface user interface layer, we can say presentation layer. So for that particular application layer, one, one schema is assigned at the database layer. Again, it depends upon the, there can be multiple schemas also depends upon the your different, different application server, but we, we assume that one application, one schema is assigned. So whenever we create any artifacts from our app, applications, our ABAP, or when we write our code and we create the CDS view entities and CDS table functions and AMDPs, those will be stored in that particular schema. And not only that, whatever other tables and normal uh, DDIC objects or normal object of ABAP, those all will be stored in that particular schema. So we can access those all the objects in our CDS view, either table, CDS entities, anything we can access. But something I want to access, which is not available in that particular schema, which is available in some other schema, which is used by some other application server or some other uh, technology. Some we can have different different schemas depends upon the uh, your company how much uh, apart from ABAP what else they are using. They might use HANA access engine. They might use uh, they they do, they might have the different application server for BI BW. They store in different server, so they will be having the different schema. I want to access data from the that schema. To accessing the, I can't access the directly 
data from that schema in our CDS view. Either I have to write down at the low level in all the way I have to do some RFC connection and do. But if we have the data already in our database, we can use the CDS table function to get that di directly data from the other schema because in the CDS table function, we write code in the native language. So native language in the native language means HANA, for HANA database, SQL script language. And in SQL script language, we can access all the data, whatever available on the database, not on, only from the ABAP schema, from other schema also we can get the data, we can write our code and we can get the data and we can return the result as well. So this is the first things when we need the CDS table function to access the data from the other schema. With the normal CDS view entities, we can't do this thing. Second thing, some of the time when we create, we write the open SQL statement or we can say the in the, our CDS view, when we create the CDS entity, we write the select query, we use lot of time, lot of functions like string functions, aggregate functions and the other functions like call x function and other things which I have already explained in my ABAP and HANA series, you can see and if you want to watch out, these all are the things we use like the arithmetical op op expressions like some average and the flow value, sale value, these all are the arithmetical operations are there, aggregate operations are there, string operations are there, case statement and call as functions. This we use in our normal select statement. But some of the time, some other features also there, which is uh, this, these features available in the ABAP, already available when we write in the CDS select query. In the CDS view, when we write the select query. Since the CDS is open SQL, we can say it is open. It's not the database specific. We can create the CDS views, CDS view entities, not only for the uh, HANA database, we can create for other database, Oracle, DB6, SQL. You can, you can create for other database also the CDS views. That's not a problem. But due to this openness of the CDS view, there is a limited functions, SQL functions are available in the CD, whenever we write the CDS, inside the CDS we write the select statement. And basically when we get the data, we write the lot of functions. They, those functions are the limited functions are in the CDS. But if you go to the natively native language, if you go to HANA specific in the native language, for the HANA we have the SQL script language, there is a lot of other SQL functions also there, which we can use in our uh, select statement. But we, we are not able to use directly in the CDS those things. But since the CDS table functions came, they already written in the native language. When we write the select query in the CDS table functions that we are writing in the native, native language itself, CDS select query. So there we can use those functions. If we want to utilize those functions in that case also, or we need really need those functions in that case also we can use the CDS table functions. Not only the SQL function, there are some other uh, processors are also there. There are some other database processor which already implement in the database and we just want to consume those database processors that also we can directly consume in our CDS table function. That is a very important thing. So these are the three things we have till now seen. The fourth and final thing. So these are the three things when we are we really want to write the code database specific. That time we have to use the CDS table function to because in the when we create the uh, model basically to create any application. Uh, if suppose I want to create one Fury application. So I have to first create my data. I have to create, I, I should be a good data modeler where I have to use one of the uh, things is a virtual data model, which we, we are going to discuss in upcoming videos. So we have to model our data. But when we join this particular tables and CDS views, which is available already, but sometime we have to write some functionality also, which is uh, which we directly can't write in the, our select query of the CDS view. So we have to write those queries or do some of the if else and 
if else or for loop we have we have to write some logic to get the data that time also we will we can write those things in the cds table functions this is particularly specific when we are not using in ABAP programming in ABAP programming we have other ways also in ABAP programming we have the select queries we have the amdp uh, amdp processors also there there is a lot of other things but when we are doing the data data modeling there we can't use the mdp processors so basically we need the cds entity to combine join the data so there we have to uh, there we want to write some functionality specific things we want to write the loop or we want to do if else or something like that then also we can use this cds table functions and last things uh, which we frequently face when day-to-day -day programming when we put the conditions uh, on the own condition suppose uh, we are writing we are combining two tables which have some relationship but the data type is not compatible suppose i want to combine two table uh, where one field is uh, both fields are similar but which is storing same data but one is row type another is character type i want to match but in the when you try to match in the cdsu because those are not same type you are not put on the own where own condition of this particular cds condition not only that if it is one is having the integer one other is having the character but they are containing same values we want to compare those values and based on that we are to, want to get the data that time also we will face this issue we are not able to we, we are not able to put that own condition on the cds view for that either we have to convert because on that own condition we can't use directly cast cast as well uh, if you want to row to character type we can't use the functions at the own condition that is also another cds limitations so to overcome this limitation or we can use the cds table function because in that cds table function we can convert in the sql when we write the native form that time the compatibility is not that much issue they just compare the most of the time they don't have the different data type for the character and row types most of the time we care they have used like that the for the integer also they can easily compare in the database level we will see this uh, one of the example in this video itself how it is happening i will try to explain one of the scenario where we really need the cds table function when we try to do the data modeling uh, I tried to use the these things in the standard table. I really face one of the time when we combine the CD post tables and EKPO table, but uh, I was not able to replicate in this system because I have I don't have the proper data. So that is the reason I want to explain the things with the custom tables. I have created there is a two custom table. One is the employee table, and second the description is same because I just now created this is also employee table, but in this table we have the information about the employee the name and age and another table we have the information uh, about the employee what is the salary and what is the currency of that particular salary that another information is available like normal tables in the normal ABAP also we have uh, in one table it's like a transactional table we have the detail in the master data table we have to link and get the data this kind of things we I created two table but the problem is that in my first table the id field is the correct attain type and but in my second table the id field is a an integer i i don't know why it happened but sometime uh, we when we create the different 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 table custom tables uh, then we give the different different data type and we want to join those data but i will try to achieve this thing first using the normal cdsv entity then we create the uh then we will try to achieve this thing and what issues we are facing i will show you guys so first what i will do i will create the cdsu entity right click new uh other database repository data definition i have to create so you have to search data definition so you know so you have to give some name so i will give g uh, ddls ddls underscore uh same okay i can use the ddls dd sorry guys ls underscore sample underscore i can give around uh, 0 8 or something underscore uh i can give serious table funk something like that and let me give same name control v 
click on next button i want to create first normal cdsu click on next button cdsu entity we will create we will not create the uh, cds table function and i will try to achieve this thing first so cdsu entity extend view entities define where is the define there is the first one let me finish it up So let me minimize this one. This is not needed. And what I will do, I will open this one here parallelly down. And I will decrease this one. So what I will do, I will select from the this first table, employee table, control C, control V, and then what I will do, association. I will use one to one association to this particular employee salary table and i have to put on condition as well let me put on condition this will be i want to match the client field of this employee table so i can give is uh, emp and is like is i can give sal so own condition will be emp dot id should equal to uh, control c iid equal to dot id okay or so i want to access some of the fields so let me put control space shift f1 uh, what is this okay control space insert all elements okay so as soon as read, this is i created the normal view entity you can see i connected with the uh, on condition you can see employee id let me put in below line so where i want to match the this id with this id the but the problem is that you can see the, this is the integer data type and this is the character data type i can't match on this particular integer and this is the my uh, limitation i can't uh, compare the integer with the character data type first thing what i uh, when i will do this thing what thing trigger in my mind can i cast this one to the uh, character data type and then i can compare let me try to do this one first so what i will do so from the salary table i have the integer value so what i will do i will try to cast this value cast uh, this particular values is since it is in integer form i want to abap dot control space care and i will give the 10th length and i will try to cast this value in this one and then i want to compare after casting is i can write or uh, whatever the value can come from here those value i want to compare with this value because i can see in this if you do the f2 on the id that also the integer field this is character 10 i i this is also character 10 i want to convert this particular id field to the character 10 but again i go to one error is there function expression cast not supported in this position we can't use the functions on that uh, in the particular own conditions that is again another limitations so one next thing what triggered in my mind instead of casting here can i cast this particular id field uh, this id field here and then i can use the projection let me try it out so what i do instead of casting here itself what i will do control x and i will put comma and control v is a sale id i can write sale underscore id and what i will do instead of using from there uh, what i will do uh, i will try to use from the projection list dot dollar projection not parameter control z dollar projection control space dollar projection and i will try to use the sale id control c 
control V. So what I did, uh, there is some problem, syntax error, there is some, okay, I have to close this one. So what I did, I go to the data from the salary table, employee salary table and the employee table also. But for comparison purpose, we were, we were not able to compare directly ID by ID because both the field was different. So what I did in the projection list, I casted this particular ID from the salary table to from the integer to the ABAP type. So let me use uh, more ABAP 20 should be fine. So ABAP you can check what ABAP 10 is fine I think so because if you see the integer field out of this uh, where is the integer field if you do F2 only this one F2 and 4 byte integer field and this is length should be 10 you can data type I think length should be 10 it is fine so let me see as of now I put 10 and uh, I try to I, I converted this to the character type and we employee ID already in character type from the projection list I have used this and I try to compare the field but still I go get the error the error is that the association cannot be used locally why it can't be used locally because you have used some field from this association the from this particular uh, what a element list so not element list this particular selection list you have used some of the field in your on condition as a projection. We can't use like this. Why we can't use? So just think, I already explained in one of the video. I will explain again. Just think is like that. As soon as uh, when we get the data from this salary table association, this sale association, as soon as we get the data, the join will form. Correct when the join will form it will expect us this value should be available but the value will be available after we get the data from this particular final result it will wait for the data and the data will not come until and unless this condition will be passed so it will be it will wait for the data and data wait for the this particular condition so it will be infinite so that is the reason whenever we are using any projection list element that time we can't use this particular association here we have to expose this particular if we want to use we just can expose this particular association but if we expose this association then we will be not able to convert this value and use this is the thing one more thing i can do instead of using this i converting this uh, particular id field to the correct format can i convert this id field to the integer format and then i can do let me try try it out that way also it might work so what i will do uh, is let me comment it out control shift less than and let me cast this value cast this particular employee id value oh it got stuck i'm not stuck sorry Oh, I was, it was not visible. So let me cast this particular employee ID value. To the integer is int is abap dot int 4 because it is integer 4 so i will cast into the integer 4 and what i will do i will give the alias name is emp underscore id and i will use this emp id from the selection list and i will use like this control c so what i did instead of uh, casting this value to the character format i casted this employee id to the integer format 
and I can do one thing and then I can this particular association I can expose like that I can do because in this way I have this particular uh, value available over here and I am comparing with the association value I don't need this value uh, to be there because it will be uh, available when, uh, when we require this value already we would have get this particular the join will be formed so in this case like that we can do but again the problem is that we are getting again one more error so you can't cast the character to integer so if you want if you if you want to see in which value you can cast to the which value for that what you have to do you have to do f1 over here then you will get your abap language help then you can click on this one you have one particular list this particular casting list I, I this also i have showed again in one of the other video you can see you can't con convert from integer to the you can convert from integer to the character but you can't convert from character to integer you can see the days days value so you can't convert this particular character value to the any integer value it is not supported in the above so it will not work in this way also but I have another way. I want, can I convert this particular, uh, particular instead of, I can convert, you, as you can see, I can convert this particular integer value to the character value. But I can't convert con co character to integer. For doing that, what I have to do, I have to change, interchange my table sequence. Instead of getting the data from first employee table, I will get the data from first salary table. So what I will do, I will do in the reverse way like this control C control V and control X control V in this way what will happen I will expose this employee uh, I, I will use the same thing it, this is this will be not required now employee ID since the uh, ID table is first so I can use directly from the cell table anything why I want to get if I want to use the id cell dot id I can use is sal underscore dot id cell id I can use and uh, I can expose this particular cell id as well so this will be my key field so let me comment it out this this all things are not required so like that I can do so what I did in this way I have casted this particular from the salary table I access the data first and the, I have casted this value control V and control C control V so what I did I casted this value to the from the salary table since this is first table I can use this first table I can cast I can use this value and I have projected this value here and from the employee table I have used directly ID field and since we can convert from the integer to character easily so I, I did the like but still I am getting one error what is the error integer 4 to character target type length too small so what is the problem is that if you see the documentation you can convert integer to character but there is some conditions are there why means there is some condition if you read out this condition this means the length of the target data type must be sufficient in this case it is not sufficient let me increase it out to 20 instead of 10 let me increase it out to the 20 so in this case I can use like that but the problem is that if I try to access some field from employee table not only I want the data from the salary table uh, so if I do the control space I can get all the data from the salary table that is not an issue but uh, again when I try to get the data from the salary table you can see I got one another error this is simple error I already explained in my annotation video you have whenever you are giving some uh, if you see the salary type field is the currency type you have to provide the uh, what is the currency for this you have to use this semantics semantics dot amount dot amount to semantics one second sorry dot currency one second 
amount currency code. So what is the currency code for this particular amount? This is I have to give here. Control V. So this error will go. So you can see in this way we can use. But the problem is that if I try to access the data from the employee table again, I want to access the name as well along with this data. I want to access the name as well. I will get the error. What error I will get? The association employee cannot be used locally in this view. Why it can't be used? Because you have used some of the field from the in your from the projection list, some of the field you have used in your own condition. So again, it will become the iterative kind of thing, which I explained. If you if the uh, in this case I get the salary ID, but this join will not happen. First, I need this data. Then only this join will happen. If I try to make this join before only because since I am getting the data from the projection list, this projection list should be available. So in this case, I can just expose this association. I can't use the values from this association. That is the disadvantage of the CDS view entity. To overcome this, I can create the CDS table function. Why we can't use that particular employee association over here because we need some either we uh, either we need this projection list to satisfy this condition if this condition is satisfied then only we can get the uh, data so first this cds view execute on top of this cds view we can create another cds view and there we can access the <laughs> employee salary table as well and the employee table as well but in this case in one cds view we can't do if you want to do in one cds view instead of creating the two cds view you have to use cds table function so that is the reason in my theory also I have explained you have to use CDS table function instead of creating the avoiding the two CDS view separately to doing the simple simple things. To create the CDS table function I use the same DDL source. Let me comment it out control shift less than I can do because the whenever we create the CDS view the DDL source is same. So what I will do. Uh, I will use different template instead of define view entity. I will use define CDS table function, table function with parameter. So you, I, I will use this one. So as I explained, there is a two part. One is the CDS entity, and another is the uh, the another part will be the AMDP function. This will be here. So what all are the field I need in the result table? First parameter I need to pass since I want to the, the tables are the also the client dependent so my CDS should be client dependent dependent so by default it is client dependent no need to worry just I will pass the client field is a parameter and type should be abap dot cl and t and as soon as I define the client uh, this is not required control shift less than and uh, instead of client element name i can give client itself why to give a uh, different name so i have given the client and this is the thing i got one error what is the error at least one column is the part of this uh, so i want to get what all are the column i need first i need the id field let me give the id this type should be return should be uh, id should be abap dot Let me give K20. I will be needing this type. And you can give either K10 itself, Control C instead of K20. Or you can directly use this data element type also. If you are not use, you don't want to use this one, you can do like this also. Control V. And second will be name and A's. I required Control C. Not only ID, I want name and A's. Apart from this, I need salary and currency key as well. So these old data I need. Not only I need the from this CDS table function, these many these many data should return. That is my requirement. Okay, and uh, I got an obviously we have to define the environmental system environmental to default this particular value because our uh, when our CDS is client dependent, 
this all things I have already explained in my previous videos. Environmental, mental system field, control space, client should be there. So whenever the no value will be there, it will accept the current client. So this is the TDS. Let me create this class as well. So this will be ZDDLS sample underscore zero eight. save from fun i can give some name and this is for the result i can what result i want from this one employee detail emp detail this is the method name i can give so i have created the cds table function let me activate it this is my importing parameter and this should this cds table function re return this whole field together so let me activate this one control f3 so I have activated this DDL source. Now what I will do, once it got activated over here, what now I, I, I will create this class, AMDP class, inside this AMDP class, I will create this AMDP function. So what I will do, control C, uh, let me minimize it. I have to create the class. So you have to right click over here, new, ABAP class. You have to give this class name. You can give the same description as well. Click on next button. Give some TR and finish it up. So class got created. Let me minimize it. Normal class created. Now I want to convert this particular class to the MDP class. So what I will do, I will give the interface. Which interface? Uh, if underscore am dp underscore marker for hana database i need this interface to convert this particular class to the mdp class so now we came to ABAP. no need to use semicolon we have to use dot and i have to define this method as well so what is the method name employee detail so this method should be in the public section and this should be static method why it should be static method you can see from the when we got from the template you can see we are accessing through this double arrow button so it should be as static obviously so control v employee detail or we have to tell that we no need to define importing exporting parameter we just have to tell for table function and we have to give the table function name over here let me give the table function name control c and control v that's it now I got the obviously implementation is missing. We have to do the implementation. You just have to click control one and add implementation for this particular method and implementation got created. Uh, since I am editing here, so let me move here and there some fields so it will be visible easily. Uh, tables are required. Let me put here table name. Uh, okay. And this table also I can put here itself. If I need, I will see from here. And let me increase this little bit size. Okay. So what I, I want to do in this one, and since this is the I this is not a normal method, it's the MDP function. So we have to write by database function, not the procedure. Since we are creating the function for which database? For HANA database, I want to create and uh, the language is sql script and what all are the table you want to use inside this you have to give your table name first table is the employee salary control c and second table is using you have to write using and second table will be the employee table itself control c and control v so inside this uh, I want to combine this data. So method is empty. I will get that error obviously. The body should not be empty. So what I will do, I will create one internal table, IT result tape. And I will get the data from this both the tables. Let me open this tables parallel. I have enough. So let me select. There will be normal select. It's not uh, much things are there like we write in ABAP. Select new syntax, not the older syntax. Select uh since the id is there so i have to use client to client uh 
again after client i need the i i need to see the what is the my table function i this should all, all this id this type and that type should be same i want client and second i want id i can do like this alt shift a and i can copy this all things vertically vertically to copy thing vertically vertically you have to use alt shift a this is very useful control c and then again you can click alt shift a it will you don't want to paste vertically then you can do alt shift a and just you have to paste control v simply or if you want to paste vertically then again alt shift a and control v it paste vertically otherwise it will paste a little bit here so like that we can do that's very useful trick when we are working with eclipse control shift a or not control shift a alt shift a sorry so alt shift a now it is normal that is fine so i want client field id field and this fields from where i want from employee salary table and i want to make what kind of join you want to make inner join or left outer join whatever the join you want you can put uh, i want as of now inner join is fine for me inner join inner join to the which table employee ram better i will get the data from the employee ram first and the employee salary any table is fine control v and i have to put on condition as well and the fill list should be comma separated obviously comma comma this is native sql language and not last fill should not have comma and on what condition i want to get the data uh i where the control c control v dot id should be equal to control c control v dot id i think this table is not required now let me decrease the size little bit over here so we, it will be visible i put on condition one more important thing since this is native sql it will the implicit client handling will not happen you have to put uh, uh, one more condition over here uh, what is the condition you have to compare the mandate also dot m and d t equal to control v dot m and d t but this time not this one control c uh, okay dot and one more thing we have used dot instead of tilde operator in the select you can see these are the minor minor difference are there you will when you work with the sql script you will slowly slowly you will get to know and what is the error i am getting currently i have to close so here we have to close with the semicolon so that's an important thing so i think uh, uh, importing parameter now so i have to get the mandate not the client because in the table if the field is mandate is the client i have to get because this should match control c control v something else okay again the id is the id column is available in the both the table so i have to give the one of the table let me use control c control v and i have to use dot and the name is and these are the unique fields so no need to give separately so finally shift f1 i should get one more error why i am not getting so what is this what it is telling the invalid column name okay they have client field you can see they defined as a client not the mandate so we have to use same field control v and i think control v not i have given when i created the table i have given the uh, client <laughs> client uh, as a field name if i would have given mandate so i can use mandate so like that you can see but still i am getting one more error invalid column mandate okay so client is client not required now now what is the issue i have to give this name because both the table is having the client field so i have to use this one control c so over the time we will get to know this i have fixed all the error still one more error is there so there should be something written this is very easy one we have to return since the uh, we are using the table function we have to return something what we have to return this result we have to return control c control v 
and semicolon. Let me activate it. Might be not visible this table to you guys. It's okay. We don't need anyway. Now we can activate this one. Control F3. Close other sessions which is not required. This is not required. ABAP help is not required. Salary table is not required. But this is required. This is must needed. So what we will do now? We will execute this table and see the data. So let me activate a Control F3 and activate again this also Control F3 and if I try to execute now the data, we can get all the data to together from one CDS table function itself instead of creating two CDS and getting the data. Let me do F8. I hope so data should come. So I have maintained some of the data. So you can see I, I want to show you the data in the tables first. So if you go and uh, see the data in salary table, if you do F8, This is inactive version. Let me activate control F3. Uh, I don't know. I created recently. Let me do F8. So you can see some of the data I have maintained for the ID salaries I have maintained. And uh, another table is the uh, employee table. Uh, from the employee table also I have maintained some data. Through the program I have maintained. I created some program and maintained the data. Let me do F8. So you can see the name, ID name and the age I meant put the similar as and I gave the different different name. Here I have so one more thing I use this names from the my commented section that's the important thing and another thing uh, the data preview from the salary so this on the ID field it got both got the let me show you parallelly so let me open here this one this one uh, not this one this one close it out data preview here this one and this one so let me increase this one so you can see five entries i have maintained and five entries i have maintained over here okay and the final result what we are getting that also you can see here in the our final result so both entries got combined and we got the result all like this so like that we can use the cds table function as well so in this video we have seen that one of the example which we can face real time and we can fix that issue using the CDS table function. Before going to next video, please like this video, subscribe this channel and share these videos with others as well so they can also learn. With that, thank you and happy learning.